Hi guys, we love you. Update on the Kelsey Barris case. As I know, the reports are out. A press conference was released later today in the last 48 hours. As we know, the FBI has been to Kelsey's home. They went back to Pr uh, Patrick's home, uh, did more searches. Um, the FBI and everybody was at her house searching, sealed it off, and was considered a crime scene, like I said in my last video. Um, they are reporting that Kelsey was killed, was killed. That's what they're saying. So are they confirming that she's dead on Thanksgiving Day? Um, Patrick has been arrested for first degree murder. Solicitation charges also. There was a few arrests made, but this is a bit confusing. I have not um, confirmed this, that we know his mother was handcuffed, um, but they say later um, released that might have been a safety issue as they come onto the property to arrest him that she be handcuffed in case uh, well you never know in case she might just um, do something uh, to herself or others um, Patrick was handcuffed and put into the uh, in police custody um, it sounds like somebody's talked Somebody has talked, and um, I don't know if this has got anything to do with um, them guys going to waste management the other day when the um, an employee called the police. Uh, they have been watching him, and, you know, he was sitting in a white truck while two guys came. So there was three of them all together, but they seemed to come in three different vehicles that day. And they got rid of some garbage or some bags, and... Um, Shortly, the police went there and got hold of uh, um, some some things, I don't know, bags or garbage or whatever it was, and seized them and took them into custody for um, evidence of some kind. Um, I don't know, Patrick's phone may have had numbers on there. He may not have used a burner phone or anything like that, probably used his own phone. Um, the police, the FBI, have probably looked into it and see phone calls between certain people and maybe, you know, too many times that day or the day after or anything like that. Um, phone calls coming into him on his phone to say, hey, the job's done, you know, something like that. Um, it looks like he has paid somebody, paid somebody to, um, do this, but I'm not sure that's confirmed, but that could be the case. Um, maybe a farmhand, you know, there has been somebody that is in custody right now, but they're saying it's something to do with immigration. So maybe this was an illegal worker. Um, probably got paid some money. It doesn't mean that they killed Kelsey. It means they may have got rid of the phone. You know, drove to Idaho and made these texts. Maybe something like that. We don't know yet. But that is something to think about. Um, as we know, the police, the FBI are not um, releasing too much. But they are saying that Kelsey Barris was killed on Thanksgiving Day. So guys, I think hope is lost now. I think we know the outcome. Um, next step is to bring Kelsey home to lay her to rest. Um, the baby is taken into custody by social workers and is um, maybe being handed over to Kelsey's mother, to some guardian. 
uh, that is probably in the works. Her mother might have her right now. We don't know. Um, this is a very sad day to an outcome I think we knew was coming, but never give out hope. Always have hope. But as they have stated that she was killed on Thanksgiving Day, they must have the evidence. They must surely have the evidence. Um, so guys, in the next coming days, um, when he has his next court appearance and he is in jail, in a cell, locked up in that cage for Christmas where he belongs. Because as we know, we knew, and this is just my opinion, we're having a discussion here that, you know, he is innocent and until proven guilty. But we can have our opinions on that matter. So guys, like I said, it's a very sad day that we all have to report this, you know, that that is the outcome. She's dead, but we want to know where she is so they can bring her home. And hopefully, hopefully, they find her body. Um, let's have a discussion about the outcome. And we'll say a prayer for Kelsey and her family. Thank you.